My name is Greg Evans. I work for USDA APHIS, the Animal Plant Health Inspection Service in Beltsville, Maryland. I'm responsible for the identification of scale insects and whiteflies primarily. Uh, now if we move to the Dialarodes slide, this may be easier to see in this view. You can see the, the caudal the tracheal fur along here very well. Okay, and here's the transverse molting suture along here and the longitudinal suture along here. You go up in power, get a better view of the pore. Okay, so at the end of the tracheal furrow, you find this pore. Uh, sort of semicircular and uh, it may be filled with some very short teeth but nothing like third or chamoplatus. Dialorotis uh, also has this very faint halo above the mouth parts and if you go down to the vasiform orifice you see it's, it's somewhat uh, hemispherical, semi-hemispherical, very small, and the operculum covers nearly an entire orifice. Here's the caudal furrow down here. You can see it's differentiated from the rest of the submargin. And down here is the tracheal pore area. Uh, 